I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? See you soon. Captain, I'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel. Greetings from the Halcyon Parcel Service. Delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of The Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. It's a parcel, ma'am. This is the Halcyon Parcel Service. I am contractually obligated to deliver my cargo to the captain of the... That's the HPS difference for you. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with... They dispense three complimentary spritzes of Anti-Cleo's Citrus Squirt Air Fresh... On behalf of HPS, I'd like to remind you that HP... Thank you for your patience, and please remember HPS for all... Mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money and was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Well, that fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I've gotten jobs from some unusual sources, but this is a first. Congratulations, Captain. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's got to be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. I just want to say, we got to take this job. This is the closest I ever been to starring in a serial drama. Only thing we're missing is a couple cameras and a soundtrack. At least this won't be boring. Lucky Montoya owed Captain Hawthorne a considerable debt. I believe this is what humans refer to as payback. Captain, the message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Ambrose. Now, I, for one, was hoping to do the exact opposite of that. What? Do you want to shake its hand? Yeah, can we talk about the arm? I want to take bets on how the guy lost it. My money's on cannibals. That ain't really that fellow's arm, right? It's gotta be a dummy. Or a toy? Well, I'm not cleaning it up. Clean up service request processed. Disposal of human arm from the unreliable's cargo hull will commence in the immediate future. Simulating disgust. How distasteful. Humans eat there. I'm not touching it. Etc. Lucky Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. Oh, really? I thought he lost his arm gambling. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. There are several hundred freelancers operating in Halcyon. This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with... 
Based on the condition of the limb, I calculate a 92. There is what humans colloquially call a sprat's chance. That is a very. I have transferred the coordinates for Ambrose Manor to your navigation. Hawthorne, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Felix, I know better. you can hear me, so but listen I up. Landed on for the big. last time, you and now it, this job's you a itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why, but something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. I like what you've done with the place. Kitschy collectibles are such a human inclination. Destination reached, Scylla. Ah, a proper lair if ever I saw one. I'm jealous. Tried to build myself a spot like that once. Didn't work out.
Hey, you. Looking for some? Where do you think you're going? Hey, nice form. Good delivery, too. You look... All right. He does it. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I see. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe... There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several... A crass way to put it, but yes. And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and... I'm committed. Well, shit. We've come this far. If we die... All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table... sound weird to you? And what's wrong with your face? My face? What's wrong with your face? Where'd you get that second mouth? 
I want a second mouth. We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated. Uh, perpetrated? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Maximilian, always ready to give up to lash out. Always searching for answers. What in the void do you expect him to find inside himself? It's just blood and squishy bits and... <laughs> and platitudes from a figment, a figment, of my imagination, no less. Who said I wasn't a figment of your mind? But you know the truth. You don't need someone else to tell you. You were overwhelmed with stories from our earliest days. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. I could tell you all manner of Stories. If I weren't... If you insist, you must give up your fantasy. Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants. More assuredly than even the fictional architect's plan to sleep. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know- No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's no- This whole thing, it's- It's- It's just a farce, right? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who? What? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined. Controlled. Why? Why do you berate me? What are you talking about? I can do that. We can you handle for this. It now. I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. I woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting, I'm experiencing. Everything No, no. But it is still perfect. It's all there to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused. I am content. I've been mulling over everything with Graham and the Iconoclasts. I don't normally advocate murder, but as far as Graham was concerned, I think you made the right call. Exactly. Graham was an unhinged zealot. He may not have struck at you yet, but he would have, given enough time. What are we contemplating to Perhaps it's just my judicious nature, but I think we should be careful if we're following up on this. I've always felt caution as the best approach when one is... He sounded lost, perhaps slightly untethered. It doesn't strike me as a setup, but... Why not? That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? Sure. Right now, I'm feeling like a canid follower. 
like I'm being misled at best. At w What's up? Unexpected noise security patrol in the victorious. Incoming!
can handle this. Life was merely an illusion anyway. What's up? Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the Queen's brood to get to the center. Password to the door? Fucking Hayes's idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Rest of us just thought it's... We're in orbit over Cascadia, Captain.
Whew. Here we go. I haven't set foot in here since.
Great work. Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate, but I ain't. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not cause it's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, but here, Somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent. We hauled in steel, hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal, four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of, and Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on Believe me, she had a head for numbers. Helped us trade hides for food and materials. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and... Me too, Captain. Now let's get to shooting. Incoming! I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them, that makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd. I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. What? Why? Huh. That's... You know, I'd been assuming this entire stay-on-your-ship thing isn't a permanent... That said, you ain't been eaten or shot to death yet. Says a lot about the stability of your future. And to be honest, I'm about... So how's about this? 
You keep letting me stay on that ship of yours? Outstanding. Something you need? It's a shame about what happened to that lucky fella. Maybe... Not a word. And I've been sticking my nose in every one of our stately ladies' cram... Oh, law! That sounds untoward, don't it? Point is, Captain, Mr. Hawthorne left all kinds of scribblings behind panels, and so whatever they got up to in the past must have been... Sure thing, Captain. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Think there's a generator somewhere?
Got it? Inside voices.
Oh, I see you have activated your holographic shroud, Captain. Excellent. Becoming indistinguishable from an authentic UDL trooper. A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. I... Wait, who are you? No one told me we had security forces deployed on the station already. Roger that. Just as a precaution, I'm sure you won't mind if we turn on the station. We hate to leave this location undefended after a close... Hmm. That should have been fixed by now. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be... De